Hello, this is Jack Jackson. This video I'm going to try to explain a little bit how the distance metric works in the hyperbolic half plane model for hyperbolic geometry. So I'm using my uh, GeoGebra applet that I uh, application I've set up with all the tools up here that are um, for hyperbolic geometry, including uh, hyperbolic distance, which you just click on that. And then click on two points here, and it will show up the hyperbolic distance. This is where this, this right here came from. Now, how is it figuring out this formula? Well, basically what you do is you make a hyperbolic line from the point between the two points or through the two points, A and B. And it's normally going to be a um, semicircle like this with the uh, endpoints on the edge, which is the x-axis, the edge of the hyperbolic half plane. Remember there are no points uh, no points down here with negative coordinates or only points with positive coordinates. So points C and D technically do not exist in this geometry but they do exist as Euclidean objects. Then what you do is you take the distance from A to D as a Euclidean distance. So this is a Euclidean line segment that I've drawn in here. Uh, and I found its distance using the Euclidean distance formula. In other words, just use the regular distance in uh, the normal distance tool there. And uh, so anyway, you find all four of these distances, A to C, A to D, B to C, and B to D. And then you use this formula here. You take the Euclidean distance from A to C times the Euclidean distance from B to D divide by the, the distance from A to D and the B, distance from B times B to C. Take that fraction, then do the logarithm, and then do the absolute value. Because the absolute value uh, and because the properties of logarithms, it doesn't matter if this fraction is upside down. Because when you flip a fraction upside down then take the log of that, you end up getting the opposite sign uh, because of properties of logarithms. So in any event, that's the formula for it. And notice that as A approaches C, this distance AC is approaching zero, but the log of that is, well, the absolute value of the log of that is approaching infinity. So we see that that is, or as B goes to D, it's approaching infinity as well. And so we can see that. So here, this particular sketch is set up, or this particular activity is set up so you can enter uh, coordinates of points A and B. It will figure out the coordinates of points C and D at least approximately. Uh, good chance those are irrational because they uh, come from solving some quadratic equation for this circle uh, on where it hits. And um, then it shows you the, the distances, those four distances there, which are probably irrational numbers as well. And then uh, works out that formula there. And that's exactly what the hyperbolic distance is. Now, there uh, we can we can move this around, but one thing is interesting: if you ever get to the point, well, as we move this way, that point D is going further and further out to the right. If you ever get to the point where B and A are the same, and I can make them the same by just typing in this box up here. Let's make them both exactly. Uh, exactly six. Okay, maybe six comma twenty. Okay. No, it's not. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's try that again. I want to have the same x coordinate, different y. Now, A and B are directly on top of each other. Well, those points C and D really no longer exist. But is, is if you did put a point C down here, then what you would do is you just take the distance from B to C uh, and the distance from A to C, divide those two. Let's say divide AC uh, by BC, take the log of that, and then the absolute value. Well, since, the, since this is just the x-axis, those distances are just the y-coordinates here. 
So basically you're just taking the two y coordinates, dividing, it doesn't really matter which one's on the top or bottom. Take the logarithm and then absolute value. And that is kind of the limit of the other formula as this comes in here. And we should see that formula as well. And uh, here I changed the points slightly, 510 and 520. You can see now the points here. And it's the log of the, the y coordinates, 10 over 20 or 1 half, uh, log of 1 half, and then absolute value of that, which is really just the log of 2, natural log of 2, which is approximately 0.69315. And that is the hyperbolic distance there. And again, I can I can move this to where it's the same or whether it's different. Okay. And you can experiment with this. Uh, experiment with this a bit. Okay. That explains what the distance is. So anyway, this has this kind of funky distance metric and because of this distance metric that makes line segments a segment of shortest distance to be an arc of a circle and it makes lines then like this if you extend those line segments out uh, that gives us the uh, what we've got here for lines and line segments and rays and distance in this particular model of hyperbolic geometry.